I thank God that Noah did not seek any method to grow his church. God gave him a mandate. The mandate was not popular. Nobody came. It's not in the Bible, but I said to somebody one day, I said, Noah, when he started telling people that God said he would destroy the world, out of fear, some people came. Some neighbors came, some friends came. He preached the same thing for 120 years. He did not change his mind. His heart was steady. And those people who came, they started backsliding. He said he's been saying the same thing for 50 years. His church is not growing. Nothing has happened. He said, God said he would destroy the world. We have not seen anything. They started, they, they were not coming anymore. You see, those who are genuine, they are genuine. Nothing can change them or drive them away. I thank God for one thing, that Noah did not change for 120 years. And I thank God that his wife did not leave him. I also thank God that his children stayed. Can you imagine 119 years? This man was still preaching the same thing. And they, they, to make the matter, the worst thing to make the matter was, he started preparing an act. He said, God told me to prepare an ark. Some people will say, oh, the message has changed now. It's not that he wants to destroy the world to prepare an ark. Do you know some people most likely came to help him? Some people, they, they can help you do whatever you say God says you should do. They don't believe in your, in your calling. They are just there. Maybe for money or for some other reasons. They came to support him. Maybe he was paying them. It's so painful that people who helped him build the ark were not saved by the ark. They did not enter. Because their hearts were not in the right place. There are people who will be in the church. But their hearts are not in the church. They are there for a season. They are there for a reason. But they are not there for Christ. And so when the time came. He said. Well this is the last call. It's going to happen very soon. Everybody should enter. Nobody came. And Noah started putting anima. Oh. One day I was meditating. I said. I can just imagine some people standing from afar. and said. Ah. Noah has gone mad. This is peak of madness. Look at him, monkey. He's bringing monkey inside. He cannot get human being into his church. He look at the people he is bringing into his church. But God had a plan. God was going to honor his heart. He obeyed me. And when the time came, the master closed. The Bible says God shut the door. He who shut and nobody can open. He opens and nobody. If the key was with Noah. Noah will pity some people when they were knocking. And now he said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be. He said they will be eating and drinking, giving to, in other words, everything will be normal. People will go to school, have degree, get married, have start business, everything will be normal. Matthew 24, he said, two people will be on the field. One will be taken, the other will be left. May we not be left behind. So I'm praying tonight that the, the Lord will help us. We need a heart transplant. We need a heart surgery. We need God to touch our hearts. That our hearts will be right. We will not be faking it anymore. We will be genuine and be sincere. We will fear God truly. We will start serve him truthfully. We will give him everything. He deserves all. You cannot give God most of it and keep some back. No. God needs all. He said, love the Lord your God with all your heart. May God help us. Let's rise up for prayer, please. Hallelujah.